Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Inscription. I just quickly want to say that unfortunately, due to my own stupid mistakes, I lost the footage of one of the runs that I did. And so I played some off camera and I'm not going to show you the whole run because you guys have kind of seen everything up and towards it. But I will include the last fight. Essentially, I went all the way to the boss, did the whole shebang, but missed like one crucial little thing. Uh, but in this run, I get to the final boss and we, uh, we make our way into Act 2. So yeah, I thought I'd just do a little message at the start of the video just to let you guys know that they'll be silent for part of it. And then I'm going to sort of come back into the commentary. As I said, unfortunately, due to, I think it was just because I named the file wrong, one of the files got, it's just, it's missing. I don't know where it is. Um, so this is kind of in place of that. I do apologize. Well, looks like I'll have to beat him again.
Okay, my god, I've done it again. <clears throat> Finish it. Do it. Let's do it. My goodness. I've been trying at this for a while. You guys haven't missed anything apart from the battle up to here. I'll probably edit some of this in, but we got here. And we can finally move on to the next chapter, I think. We'll see how this goes. We shall see how this goes. You had won the respect um, of the strange cabin cabin's inhabitant. Your body quakes as the adrenaline of the bod uh, battle subdues, leaving you with a gnawing hunger you had not eaten for days. Is it not so? <laughs> Woo! We're back here again. Surely this food will please you. Took extra care in preparing it. Really? This doesn't meet your standards? Very well. We're back to here again. Stand there. Who gave you that? Give it back. Oh, we missed. Wait, what the hell? Uh, oh my lord. Oh, that's his card. We got him. What is with all these clothes? Is that people or is that just clothes? Is that, is that him back there? What on earth is going on right now? Oh my god. I'm unsure what's happening. Hmm. All I see is this light. And no real way to interact with it. Hmm. Now I am very confused. This is all I see. Hmm. There's, there's nothing else in here. I'm tapping all the buttons. <laughs> I'm a little confused. Maybe I just have to wait. I'm not sure. I can't look up. I genuinely have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing here. Okay, one moment, one moment. Okay, I'm a little confused. I asked a friend and they said, go to the options. I don't know if they mean this. Or like... Back to the start screen. I, f I don't want to have have done this wrong. Okay, right. That new game button wasn't available before. I don't want to do this wrong. So I tell you what, I'm going to end the episode here. And we're going to figure this out in the next one. Because this has been a hell of a night. I've been playing this for a while now. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Hello everybody and welcome back once again to Inscription. In the previous episode, I hopefully edited together so you can see the ending to Act 1. Or at least what I believe to be the ending to Act 1. I don't actually know, but we unlocked New Game. And I've been told this is the only way forward, so we have to start New Game. And see what is up with this. See what happens when we start a New Game. I'm excited. I really enjoyed Act 1. I found the uh, the combat system to be a little frustrating towards the end, but once I really got a hang of it, as you guys will have seen in my previous episodes, there was a few things I really didn't understand. But once I got a hang of it, I really got into it. But here we go. No slicing routine, new game. Begin data wipe. Unexpected data encountered. Purging deck data. Ooh. Renewal. I like the achievement renewal. In the beginning, the world did not know cards. Whoa. That is until the day the scribes arrived.
each had their own method of inscription to create cards. Grimora used her quill to inscribe the epith of the death. Of the dead, sorry. Leshy used his wildlife camera to capture the beasts. Looks very similar to the guy that we played against. P03 used the particle scanner to, create co uh, to copy the CPU of robots. And the Magnificus used his brush to paint. Oh! That's the Gilly Suit Bob Ross monster thing. With the cards created, described had solidified their power. Until one day, a challenger arrived to replace one of the scribes. Interesting. Well, this is very different. Choose a starter deck to mark your ambition. Ha, this is literally, it's literally like a wall. I can't walk past it. It's kind of funny. Okay. Your ambition is to replace Ramora and become the scribe of death. Scribe the beast. The scribe of technology. And the scribe of the magics. I'm going to go with death. I like the idea of that. The cards were added to your collection. I don't know if this works the same way as the first area did, but maybe that's going to be burn based cards. Ooh. This is very Pokemon-esque. This, this map looks a lot like Pokemon. And I played a lot of Pokemon when I was younger, so I like this. <laughs> so this is the death area, so this is where I'd imagine we'd want to go first, right? As Grimora herself, I believe. You're here, Marvelous. I'm Grimora, scribe of the dead. So quite recently, I was disgraced. So I was returned to my former glory with the help of some unlikely friends. If you wish to test your skill against me, you must first prove your wits. You must discern which two marks the final resting place of my lovely ghouls. Hmm. You found a piece of... Epithet? It reads, eaten by a hungry dog. You found a piece of epithet. It reads, does not hold a grudge. Intriguing. Hello. Okay, so it doesn't seem like we can go through there. You sifted through the bones and found a card pack inside. You received a deathly card pack. Intriguing. We got the ghost ship, Waterborne, also at the end of the owner's turn. Ghost ship will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil and drop a skeleton in its old space. The dead hand. When the dead hand is played, discard your hand, then draw a new hand of four cards. Sarcophagus will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. The warren uh, is the same as last time. And the wolf cub is the same as last time. The cards were added to your collection. Aha! So now this option makes a lot more sense. The alter deck option. Okay. Can't enter there yet either. Can we go back through here? We could go down, I guess. Oh no, we can't go down, I see. Okay, so let's go this way then. I mean, I suppose we could maybe leave and go back out the other way, but I think we'll uh, we'll stick with this way for now. Oh, hello there. This really reminds me of Pokemon. Okay, so this guy's a shop. You wish to trade. Okay, I don't have any I don't have any currency right now, which they look like microchips, but I don't have any currency yet, so I guess I can't take any of this. Yeah, okay. So one thing I just want to try, because I didn't actually test that there. I think I've got to click yeah, there you go. I've got to click on this. Did someone leave the AC on? Oh come on, dude, it's freezing in here. Maybe a heated battle will help. Oh, something's wrong. It's your deck, or rather, your lack of a valid one. You've got 20 cards in it, right? No. <laughs> I don't. Um, 
Aha, okay. Um, okay, so I've got 10 cards now. Auto complete, okay. Right. The hell? Oh, okay. I've got to find all these scribe things, I guess. Okay. Hark. A living slice of lemon approaches. Bright and trig as a lime. They think you will squeeze a, a defeat out of me? <laughs> Something be wrong. Taint right. Return when you got 20 cards in it. Oh wait, I see. Aha, okay, okay, I get it now. I get it now. Let's remove a few skeletons and add a few more of them in, I guess. Try that out, maybe? Okay, so let's go for this guy first, then, this time. That looks much better. Where were we? Okay. Marvelous, your first battle. Are you surprised to see me here? But you did select my starter deck. In order to play my cards, you'll need to collect burns. You gain a burn when... When you're... <laughs> Why did your eyes go there? Hmm. Marvelous, you already understand. My time as an insect was not a total waste. Ooh, was you the stink bug? Okay, so this seems this seems like basically the same mechanics, but in a very different style. Okay. You do not have enough burns to play. Right, so I'm a little confused, because all of my cards require burns. So... What exactly do I do? What the hell? What's this? Um... There's no rabbit deck. Hmm... Okay, so I finally have a card. That was just me getting unlucky, I think. Draugr released the creature inside. Skeleton collapsed into a pile of burns. Skeleton collapsed into a pile of burns. So where's my, my burn counts up there, I see. Can't be sacrificed. I don't want to sacrifice it, right? Wait, what? It costs two burns. But I thought I had two burns. Oh, wait, no. Where the hell's my burn count? Oh, no, my burns are here, I see. The end of turn, the Grave Digger will generate one burn. Okay. Skeleton comes to a pile of burns. So we've lost right now. Okay, so my deck is garbage. Nope, I'm still cold. Right. Let's uh let's alter our deck, because my deck is big duke big dookie. Um Right, let's just let's just redo everything here. Okay, one thing I want to do first is let me let me leave out of here. Go up here. Intriguing. Two equals three. No. No fish, no pass. Oh, and that's the, uh, that's the angler. So if I go to this chest here. You pried in the chest and found a card pack inside. Here we go. You received a beastly card pack. Okay, this makes a bit more sense to me now. Okay, let's take all of them. 
Right. Hello, sir. Stop shaking. The only thing to have to fear is your inadequacy. Behold me. I am Leshy, the scribe of the beasts. So I was playing against Leshy. We share a desire for you to challenge me. But first... I know what you're thinking. No, that it's not my legendary camera. Not the one I used to create beast cards. This is a mere replica. You may use it to create photos of the beasts in the woods. My subordinates, the prospector, the angler, and the trapper. They each require a photo before they will consider battling you. Return to me when they are all defeated. Another shop here. Okay, so that's the trapper, I think. Oh, this is another one of these puzzles. That gives us two. Hmm. That gives us three. That's two. This is nothing. Okay. Might take me a little while to get the hang of this, but we'll try it out. Hmm. Oh, we got up to four. Damn. These are tough. I don't really understand how they work. There we go, we got one. The draw creaked open, you found a pack inside. Another beast pack. Okay, good. Awesome. Okay. I understand this a little better now, right. Let's go collect our card deck, shall we? Okay, that's just our starter deck area. Oh, hello. Woof. I was just about to call it quits out here. Now there's a challenger and I admit back to work for me. Should be able to get this bridge fixed in, full disclosure. It'll take me exactly as long as it takes you to defeat one of the scribes. So, uh, come back later. <laughs> nice. Okay. So. Right, so, first things first. Let's go and actually make a real deck, shall we? Okay, so there's gonna be kind of there's gonna be some t something that's slightly time consuming here. Obviously, we want a mantis god. That is just a given. Um, it provides an energy cell to its to its owner. I don't really know what the energy cells are for yet, but I'm imagining that's something to do with these guys. Yes, it is. Okay. Um. Then we got this. Oh, we've we've seen one of those before, right? Yeah. Four blood cost. They're pretty pretty beefy. Moles aren't too good. Squirrel ball. At the end of the turn. Um. The end of the owner's turn. Squirrel ball will move in the direction inscribed and drop a squirrel in their old space. We'll take two of them. We'll also take a warren. Take a wolf cub. And we'll take an adder definitely. Then let's go over here. Cannot be sacrificed while the mox is on the board. It provides a blue gem to its owner. And this costs a blue gem. It cre uh, if a creature would attack a force mage, it does not. What? I guess I'll add those onto the board as well. Insector drone uh, will strike an opponent directly even if there is a creature opposing it. So that's just flight. And that's a steam ball. I probably don't want to mess with those, right? Uh, the dead hand. Where the dead hand is played, discard your hand, then draw a new hand. Yeah, we'll definitely grab that. 
After an attack, it perishes. I think they're decent enough to grab a few of those. Um, Frankenstein. I like the idea of that card's name. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll take one of you. No, we'll take two of you, actually. Two grave diggers. I don't know how good that would be. I think we probably want some fodder zombies here. Um, two burn cost. Go like that. Hmm. Let's try that out. Might not be a great deck, but it's my deck. Okay, I'm 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 in I'm intrigued now. Someone leave the AC on. Oh come on, dude, it's freezing in here. Maybe a battle will help. Okay. Right, I got a bit more of an idea of what I'm doing now. Let's give this a go. Okay, so we'll get you in the way here. Then we can do that, actually. Oh, okay, that gave us energy. Oh, okay, I see. We gain energy when we uh, take damage, I think. Hmm. So the, the mechanics of how to draw cards are a bit different in this, I'm seeing. Unfortunately, we don't really have the ability to do much here, so I'm just going to go boom, boom, and boom. Try that out. I realize I'm going to get hit by the bee here, but that's fine. Ooh, actually, maybe it's not. Oh, God, that was a bit rough. Oh, my God. Okay, I I've just built an awful deck here. <laughs> I just keep drawing the worst possible cards. I've got some really high cost burn cards that doesn't really make a hell of a lot of sense. So we're going to die here. That's fine. So we need to reorder our deck a little bit. This is going to be a bit of a learning experience, but we need to reorder our deck a little bit to make it a little less burn heavy. Because um, at the minute we're kind of getting crapped on. So let's go and remove... One grave digger. One zombie. And I think that's okay. And then we replace it with I don't really know what we replace it with. Maybe just two skeletons? Let's try that out. It's a little bit little bit of a cop out, I think, but it might it might work out. Let's go let's go again. It's gonna take us a little while to build a deck that's that's really worth something to us here, I think, but So I think I think a good start out is that. Cause that's the squirrel's gonna give us a lot of burns to play on. Why did I only draw one that turn? I mean, I think I think I only draw one every turn, but that's that's fine. Okay, let's let's do that. And we're up to four here. You die, you come down. But I take the same damage as I did last time. But now we're up to five burns. They go down. That's kind of interesting. Um. When dead hand is played, discard your hand, then draw um, a new hand of four cards. I'm just going to do that right now. That's much better. Okay, that's much, much better. So now we can go boom, boom, and place that there. Okay, I'm liking this. The visuals in this area are very intriguing. Okay, unfortunately our wolf didn't live long enough there.
And we do that. I'm going to take damage here, but that's fine. Revenant collapsed into a pile of burns. That Revenant's pretty, pretty strong. Ooh, damn, the Mummy Lord. Okay, and i got to wait on some burns to do this. That that tips the scales in our favor again. We fill up the um, the board. Wow, you got wrecked there. The Revenant dies there. And you go there. Okay, we need to still pull the thing that can save us from that. We're in a bit of a bad spot here, I'm realizing. We have nothing on the board that can deal damage, and nothing here that can deal damage to us. So we might be in a stalemate, I think. Um, yeah, I think we're in a bit of a stalemate here. Like, hmm. Okay, we finally got something that can deal some damage here. Okay, that that was a weird little stalemate we'd entered there. I understand these power batteries a little more now, so I might play around with that. Boom. Okay. Hey, there's the excess damage tokens. Nice. Foils gained, I see. Right, we might wanna we might wanna play around with the thingy decks a little more. You've won, but now I'm a bit less cold. Take a pack on the house. Ooh, nice, okay, okay. I like this pack and pack opening thing. I've gotta fess up. The name's Casey. Ooh, Casey was one of the names of the um of the death cards that we kept finding. I'm from the tombstone on the left. You found a piece. Casey Hobbs. Interesting. Okay, so now we can walk through you. So let's just adjust our deck a little bit here again. So one thing I want to maybe do is add some of these guys into my deck. Um, when Explode Bot dies, the creature opposing it, as well as the adjacent friendly uh, creatures, are dealt 10 damage. It only does it to the creature, though. Okay, so let's... um, Let's delete a few things from our deck. So I think the Squirrel Balls are a little much. They're good, but they're not necessary. Uh, so we'll remove two of them, and we'll add in... Um, we'll add in this guy. Six energy for you seems like a lot, so maybe not you. Um, and then we got this as a new card. The Necromancer. When another creature you own dies, it is returned to life and dies again immediately. So I'm guessing that means we get extra burns for this dude. We will take one of them. Um. Yeah, I think that's decent. Oh my god, we got a wizard here as well. The the practice wizard. Which requires a currency that we haven't seen yet. Okay, let's try that out then, shall we? So first of all, we'll take a look what's going on with this. The defibrillator failed. Oh no. Is there any of those in here that we missed, by the way? Doesn't seem to be. Okay. So... There you go, yeah, tombstone on the left there. Right, so now we'll go and fight you. Okay, this guy's got a ghost ship on his on his uh on his team. Let's just do that for now. Good, good. Go ship moves and plants, uh, plants one of you, I see. Ah, oh, I keep misplaying this. We might die here. That's fine, that's fine. Just, just let, let it happen. 
I suppose the boat doesn't do any damage. There you go. Okay, so we can start off this now. So I think we put you here. Put you there now. Okay. That should be enough to keep us going. So our wolf, our wolf should, there you go. Wolf grows, good, good. Do we even have the ability to generate this? I can't remember if we do. We must do, otherwise I wouldn't have done that. Okay, so we leave that for now. We're gonna take some damage, but it tips on our scale a decent amount here, so that's fine. Then we get this bad boy. Which we're pretty close to being able to use here, but I still think we stick with what we got going on right now. <coughs> Next turn's gonna be a little bit of a problem. It's okay though. We're still we're still in the running here. That's good. Now we do that and we put that we put that there. In turn, that gives us a rabbit. We can also play this guy. The ghost ship's going to keep doing its thing, but that's, again, quite, quite all right. And then I think we leave that as is. Yeah, there you go. We get a little bit of excess damage there, but not much. Nice, we're doing decently here. I we beat the pulp out of me. <laughs> Firstly, take ye this. I'll get another pack here. Okay, we got new skeleton, a tomb robber, active. Uh, pay one burn to create a skeleton in your hand. Hmm, intriguing. Seems to be a zero cost card as well, which is probably worth having in our deck. The burn hound. When an opposing creature is placed on the opposite um, to an empty space, burn hound will move to that empty space. And we've also got the blood hound as well. Okay. And the muscle mage as well. Right, so let's uh, let's grab that. Because you bested me, with you I'll share you my secret. My name is Royal, and the far right, and here's the headpiece. Nice. Okay. So this time, let's uh, let's go and take a look at our deck once more, and we can remove. I think we want to remove one of our skeletons. In order to add you into our deck. Yeah. You found a piece. Okay, another one. Nice. And another... We're going to find a lot of pa packs here. Got another dead hand. A gem fiend. Um, if the gem fiend's owner controls no mox cards, gem fiend perishes. Don't really know what that's for. The... Skele Mag M Magus? Skele Magus? After attacking Skele Magus perishes. Also, if the Skele Magus owner controls, no. They don't. Actually, that's four damage. Okay. So this seems this seems worthwhile. So let's um grab that and go back over and alter our deck again. And then let's remove. Hmm. Let's remove one zombie. Didn't realize we had this page. The walkers. When the walker dies, four burns are awarded instead of one. But it costs four burns to use, so it's not all that useful, really, is it? Yeah, let's try that out. Make our way up here. There was no cure. Ooh, that is not me. Oh, what the hell? Um, I'm not sure if this is like a meaningful thing, but I'm allowed to change my appearance here. I'm gonna go for one that I like the look of. I like you, go with you. I don't know if that means anything, but <laughs> we have it now. Oh no. Do not look upon me. 
Do not snarl or sniff, I beg you. If you wish to battle, please, let's get it over with. Okay, you've got a bloodhound, or a burn hound, I should say. <sighs> okay, so we do have a Mantis in our first deck. Oh, this, this is tricky, because we should really play the Mantis straight away to block this guy's attack, but it's going to die straight away. So I'd rather not. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take a risk here and let him let him have a turn. It's kind of what I was hoping for. I mean we couldn't have played the mantis anyways. We didn't have the ability to. Um, I think we go boom like that. Put you there, but then play you here. The burnhound should move over, move over there. Good. We get three hits on you. I wonder if we have the same way of upgrading cards in this. Oh god, oh god. I didn't realise that that guy did three damage. But he perishes straight away, so it's not so bad. Um, and then we go... We can kill the, uh, the Burnhound in one hit. It dead. And then we can play this here. There you go. No overage, unfortunately. Oh wait, actually, no, we got we got one excess. But yeah, the, the combat is essentially the same. It just plays out in a different way. Mainly that we don't get those squirrel cards anymore. The leap bot will knock will, will sort of block an opponent opponent uh, sorry, opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. Oh, okay, we've seen that before. That's not that's not great. We also got an elk fawn as well. Not too interested in that. Pay two burns to increase the power and health of a burn heap by one. Hmm. That that seems like it could be useful. We unlocked... It was this, wasn't it? Yeah, so let's remove... We'll remove the sarcophagus for now because I just don't think we're going to get as much use out of that. And we don't want too many cards that cost burns here. It's just going to get a bit crazy. Oh, hello. You have no offering? Hmm. I'm assuming we have to come back to you with uh, something that you may want from us. So first thing I'm going to go do here is just check out the shop again because we have a bit of money now. You wish to trade? And get a pack for five. What specific cards? Yeah, I don't, I don't think I want any of those right now. I've got enough burn packs anyways. Right, so now... Wait, what? Okay, I think I understand now. We can actually see the, the full... The full, um, speak of each one of these. I think that's it. So just go back down here and see if this guy has anything more to say. Okay, no, no more to say. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm meant to be able to get past now, because I've fulfilled all of these, but I guess we'll leave and go to the other area and maybe come back. The dang hound got herself lost again. Think again. Maybe we should start with a prospector.
We can buy a Roboros for eight? Hell yes. We will try to be saving up for that. I wonder if it'll carry over our, like, it'll remember our stats on it from the last time or not. Hmm, okay, I'm a little, I'm a little confused. So, I want to be starting with the Prospector, but it says that I need to find their dog. Wait, what? You seen him, a hound? A good meal always gets her out. Now, where'd I lock up that meat again? Oh, okay, okay. I, I think I think I get it now. Ooh, okay. Do we have anywhere where we can see a curd? Hmm. Not that I know. Oh, wait. I was just about to say not, not that I know of. I don't know what that middle one's meant to be. It looks like it says two equals three, right? That's not it. Uh... Hmm. Am I missing something? Because there's three what look like bloody coins or stumps or something. Um, I'm not quite sure. It's two something three. So I guess I'll just go two. Oh, there you go. Two seven three. Take a stinking pile of meat from the safe. See my hound? So meet a bull, get her out. Oh! Uh, and then this is her bull. I see, I see. Right. I think I have your dog now. Well, I'll be damned. That's my girl. I let you pass me and into yonder pond. But Dagnabbit, we first got a battle. <laughs> I love the prospector. Okay. We've started off with a squirrel, which is odd. I probably shouldn't have played that skeleton, I'll be honest. But they'll both perish and give us a burn, so that's fine. Oh, you fish. I don't realise that's how that would work. Fuck. Hmm. Um. <laughs> okay. I think I gotta do this. Good. That's a bullfrog right there. When another creature you own dies, it returns to life and dies again immediately. Okay. You can go there and attack that. Well, this has been strange kind of a hard fought fight against the prospector here but we're doing okay okay unfortunately we are gonna lose this dude here we do get double burns out of that though this is not a good sacrifice but I will do it 
We'll draw another hand of five here. That's good. Right. Um, that's... You just played a card with an activated ability. Marvellous. Allow me to explain how it works. Activate it by pressing the sigil like it's a button. But it will only work if you can pay the cost. Hmm, okay, so I can pay that. Ah, this is actually pretty good. I like it. Right, that's fine, because you're dead. We'll grab up two skeletons here. Put one there. Puts us in there a little bit. Okay, now we get our Mantis God. That's good. So I think we put you there for now. No, we'll put you there as well. And then we'll do that. And that should win us it, right? Nice. Okay, so that's the first phase. First fair, you've beaten me like a dog. Take this. Some say these cards are better than gold. We've got another one of those. We've got an elk and two explode bots. I'm honestly not interested in any of those. So we didn't actually have to do a two-phase fight with that guy. It was a single phase, and it wasn't even that hard of a phase. Right, one moment. Okay, I am back. Let's keep this going. Move through here. We're at the pond now, and this is where we grab our fish. Place it, don't place it. Place the photo of bait on the line. See, I'm not sure here... But let me let me just not place it a minute. No, let's place it. Let's try it. Okay. Maybe that was a good idea. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Fish. Fresh fish, good. Still must be. Okay. Oof, we started off with a rough turn here, I think. Um, that fish is pretty strong. Water ball at the end of the turn. Um, Salmon will move in the direction inscribed on the sigil. Okay. Um, blue gem. Put you there. So you can attack. That's good. This is kind of rough though, right? I'm going to have to kind of play this out. It's going to hurt, yeah. Moves to a new space. This is actually really rough. We've drawn some pretty bad cards here. This, this dude moving made this dude pointless, unfortunately. Guess I'm just going to have to do that and sacrifice you. Do you know what? Just end me. Dude, just, just end my life, please. <laughs> Thank you. Let me start again, please. Because <laughs> that was terrible. I just had a really bad hand starting there. Replace you there. I can go there. Put that in the wrong place, then. That's stupid of me. 
It's okay, though. Oh, my God. Just drawing terrible cards right now. <laughs> And again, a terrible card. Okay. Good enough at least right now. Got our Mantis God. Unfortunately, not a great spot for our Mantis God, really. Um, you have two health, unfortunately, so our Mantis God will perish if we decide to do this. Let's just do this for now. It's good enough. It's not really good enough. I've kind of screwed myself here. Um, shit. God damn, I just keep drawing terrible hands, don't I? Salmon moves to a new space. Activate, increase the power and health of the unit. Okay. Okay. Powered that guy up a little bit. That should set us up decently for a win. Damn it, we don't have enough for that. Um, I think we just got to keep going again and hope for a win here. Ah, oh, one off. That's okay, though, because I think next turn we win. Yeah, we do. Okay, nice one. You beat, you pass. First take. Okay, so we got the Salmon. We did get a Grizzly, which... The Grizzly's got potential. The Green Mage. The power of the Green Mage is equal to the number of green gems that the owner has on their side of the table. The Gem Fiend. And the Mole Man. When an empty space would be struck, the Mole Man will move to that space to receive the strike instead. Also, the Mole Man will block... An opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. Eh, again, none of those I don't really think fit into our build too well. I'm going to keep on going with the build we've got right now. We're definitely coming across some problems. But I don't think it's all that bad. Patches of dried blood crack as you pry, open, uh, pry the chest open, but two packs were inside. Another mantis god. Hell yes. And another Mantis God. Okay. Right, so. Let's have a little look, see. I'm gonna I'm gonna redo my deck here. Let's um Let's undo everything. Let's redo our whole deck. So three Mantis Gods, we want those. Um I'm gonna have A Squirrel Ball, A Warren. Wolf Cub. Field Mice are decent, but kind of hard to play. Another Wolf Cub. I think Wolf Cubs are really good. Adder's also very good. And I think we want to get the Burn Heap and the Tomb Raider, just in case. I don't know about this one. I think this is a good one for us. These ones I'm really not sure about. I really don't think I need to use any of those. And then same, similar with these mage ones as well. Right now they don't seem all that effective. Like this one seems really good, but it's kind of hard to play. So maybe I'll just, like, 
Hmm. Grab, like, all them. Grab you. One of you as well. The dead hand's good, but not all that good. At least it has some stats on it, I suppose. Hmm. Is there anything else on here that would be more valuable? Possibly another squirrel ball? Let's try out the mole man instead. Bit of a weird deck here, but we'll try it out. Oh, okay. This is going to be horrible. Yeah, I'm sorry, little squirrel. Squirrel? Rabbit, even? I'm probably gonna have you, uh, quite heavily perish in just a moment. Hmm. I've just realized that it's not gonna do what I want, is it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep moving this over and it's gonna change where it jumps to. Damn you. Yeah, am I meant to be doing this? <laughs> I feel like I am, but doesn't seem all that possible right now. It's just nearly possible. Damn you, you tricky little trickster. Okay. Oh, you little bitch. There's riveting gameplay here, but I feel like I need to do this. Maybe I've just got to push it in the hole? No. Hmm. Yeah, maybe this isn't possible. I mean, maybe it's not possible yet, at least. It might, it might well be very possible later on. But for right now, I'm not seeing anything interactable nearby. Yeah, let's, let's leave this for now. I don't want to get stuck on one section for too long. Let's at least go back and, uh, and see what this guy wants. Return to me when they are all defeated. Who else do we have left? I thought it was just you. We've done the angler. We've done the prospector. I suppose we've got the trapper, but I don't know where the trapper is. Well, of course the trap is where the trap is, right? Okay, I, I must... I, I've got to figure out a way to do this. There's got to be some some bit of information I'm missing here. Maybe there's something I could be placing down. Right, I've got a bit of an idea here. So we, we 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 do this and we reset you. We stay far away. Maybe that will cause it to jump into it. No, seemingly not. Hmm. Maybe I have to force the RNG of the rabbit. No? I seemingly I can't change where the rabbit goes. 
This is confusing me quite a lot. One moment. Okay, so I'm still thoroughly... Okay. <laughs> I was just about to say, I'm still thoroughly confused. And immediately upon doing that, I... <laughs> it just died. So I'm just check. I'm just going to check the walls again for any secrets here. This, maybe? No? There's like gaps like here. There's like a gap here. A gap... Oh, there is a gap here. Hey. Okay, nice. Right. Who are you? Is this the totem lady? Yeah, it is. Few players visit me here. I sometimes ponder what my gameplay purpose was. Uh, is that is that it? Oh, it's clear now that you wish to know more. What can I tell you? I have a glimpse of the old data, and I'll speak nothing of it as a kindness. I will repeat myself, I'll speak nothing of the old data. To know it is to die, but you, player, are never deterred by that. What can I tell you? It's corrupt knowledge, so evil that corrupt that it corrupted this disc. Inscription the good? No. What can you know? Ask the scribes. They don't seem to care for the human life. Leave me here to ponder my carved wood. Being Leshy's puppy has given me much to ponder. Goodbye for now. Okay. Intriguing. I didn't expect to find this here, but yeah, the, the rabbit just straight up, like, jumped on the trap the very moment I tried. Um, so I don't know where the trapper is. I'm guessing the trapper is the, the dude that I traded with. We'll make our way back over. You you have brought a pelt, I am pleased. Yet another return to my skinning knife. It is time to set another trap. Ooh, and his head turned. I smell the hair blood on you. Okay, nice. Right, decent turn off the bat here. Right. We, we kind of know how to fight the trapper a little bit. I think we get some early damage here. And we set up a, a squirrel ball here. Kelton claps into a pile of bones. Hmm. Play that there for now. That's fine, that's fine. I think now we do... That. And then this can go here. And we'll pay to upgrade that twice. That gives us one turn to wait. Get another one of you out. Nice. Our wolf grows up. Good. Okay, one moment, guys. I apologize. I am back. Right, let's continue here. So, we're doing okay so far. Um, ooh. Let's play this here to get some damage on him. Oh, I keep forgetting that requires the mox to be out. I'm so dumb. We might die here. Indeed we did. That's okay, that's okay. Okay. We actually got both of these off the bat, which is intriguing, but not good. <laughs> Played both of them there. Skeleton, you can go there. Ooh, we got a Mantis God here. Let's play the Mantis God there. You can go there. Remember how this guy works. Got another Mantis God here. I think we play here. 
Good, good. Okay, now you go down. Double Mantis God's good here. One of them did perish, though. Oh, wait, we died. <laughs> we hadn't done any damage to him. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, li little bit better here. So let's go boom. Then boom. That's fine. Boom, like that. Like that. Like that. They were digging up burns. Damn it, Mantis got down. Right, let's actually get some damage on him now, shall we? Get some skellies out to deal some damage here. Really hard getting damage on him because there's never any free space. Okay, you do your thing. And we've got rabbits coming in. Now we've actually done some damage here. Good. Got a raven there. You go, good. There's another squirrel. We need some blood-based attacks. Shit. <laughs> okay, we're dead. Again, there's nothing we can do to stop this thing now. Okay, so squirrel brought ball is not a good idea in that scenario. We might need some higher damaged cards coming out here because we're not really getting what we need. Um... Okay, let's do that. You perish, that's fine. And that's fine as well. Okay, we get a Mantis God here. That gets rid of you two, good. And we get another Mantis God here. Um... It's not the best idea I've ever had, but I'm going to try this out. Burrowing trap digs down to pop out to block. I love the way the Mantis traps do that. It's funny. Did kill one of them, but I think that's okay. No, it's not okay. Shit. Um, balls are Rooney again. That goes our Mantis God. Oh my god, this is tough. I really need some stronger cards. Okay, I'm going to have to redo my deck here, because this just isn't working. Right, let's alter our deck. One minute. See what we can get going on. Okay, alter the deck a little bit. I'm just getting really bad cards. So, squirrel balls can go. Squirrel balls kind of getting on my nerves. Um... Necromancer, you can go. Skelly Magus, you can go. And then we're gonna we we'll go with two more skellies and a bloodhound. Let's try that out. Give this a go. Okay, this is a good start. Get some burns off the bat. We've got our dude to block. Then you can grow stronger. That's fine, that's fine. This is not fine, though. This is not fine. 
You've got five damage coming in, and I have zero ways of blocking any of it. Apart from deleting my one good unit. Which doesn't make any sense. And then that trap keeps blocking me as well. Ah, that keeps killing me. And that we lost we lost again. Am I just like bad? Or what's going on here? Maybe this is just a really hard boss? I feel like I'm just playing really bad though. So let, let's let's do this first of all. Oh, that trap's gonna be a right pain in the ass, isn't it? Put you there. It's just he has so he has so many units. Please don't kill my dog. Why does the dog die? What does that trap do to kill it? It's really annoying. I could just never get damage off on him. Stop giving me fucking blood cards! Oh my lord! Now we've got the raven to deal with as well, for fuck's sake. But look, I just, I can't physically deal damage to you. It's not possible. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong here. Right. All gone again. All gone. Right. Give me all of them. Three of them. One of them. One of them. Two of them. Then give me... Three of them. One of them. And one of them. Try this out. Okay, good. Oh, stupid player with a wolf, though. And now I've got nothing to sacrifice, and I'm going to lose a bunch of health. Oh, my lord. Oh, there's so many skeletons in the deck. Fucking draw one of them. Please? Draw any one of the nine skeletons in my deck, please. That would be just glorious. Right. You get gone, turd boy. That's you gone. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Oh my god, I did it. <laughs> the trapper's shut, yet the prey escapes, and the trapper waits for their next victim. You've defeated three of us now. Bless you, awaits. Right, I'm going to give Leshy one go. Wait a minute. Did I get any overage damage on you? No. Okay, I'm going to give Leshy one go, and we'll end off the episode there. 
You had bested the unhinged prospector, the gormless angler, and the enigmatic trapper. You found yourself standing before your ultimate match, Leshy the Beast, a scribe of beasts. Steal yourself, my beast will show you no mercy, only fangs. Do not spare your creatures. My camera is waiting to capture them at the moment of their demise, and my beasts are famished. Okay, good. I'll need a photo of that one's cost. One moment before that one dies. Needs to capture its stats. Well, that's good, because the stats of them are terrible. Skeleton collapsed to a pile of bones. Finally, the sigils. That'll do. Skeleton collapsed into a pile of bones. You must like them. The stitch work is there, your cards. Oh. Now we put to the test. My beasts enjoy the variety. Oh, God. Okay, so we'll put... Ah, oh, there's a grizzly over there. Shit. Okay, that at least takes care of you. That's good. Okay. Should be enough. The Great Scribe was incredibly bested. Far away, a light envelops a long forgotten momentum. Moment, sorry, not momentum. Ooh, so we've defeated one of the areas. Nice. You have triumph, narrowly avoiding tooth and claw. The scribe of the beast was defeated. That you were able to defeat me, um, beggars be um, belief. But now I must yield to you. My only regret is that our battle was so brief. Surely sub the summit of victory is made sweeter by the more... Adderus Ascent. Nice. I think we're getting three packs here, aren't we? Another Mantis. We'll definitely take that. Right. There you go. Bachelor, stop. What is that? The heck? I had to see your face after you lost. You're just so bad. It's no wonder you're back, um, and we would have been ever s sooner if the disc wasn't lost. Take a long look at this face. Hey, look at it. Look at it is. We shall never see it again. I'm done being your pet, you stinking beast. I pushed it too far the last time. Why don't they see? To live as a beast would be nob the noblest of things. Even so... Lowly a creature as a sturt. Okay. Let's quickly go over here. There you go. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. What a very, very good one. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.